everyone welcome to my channel my name is tamir and we talk all things social work today i'm going to talk about the difference between supervision and consultation and why consultation is so important when you are in a private practice or when you're in an agency so first thing the difference between supervision and consultation so supervision is when you are still obtaining your supervision hours when you are underneath someone else's license right and you are let's say doing psychotherapy but you're underneath someone else's license you are still underneath that supervisor's guidance, right? You are still underneath their license. So if anything happens, then that really goes back to the supervisor. Supervisor can, can get in trouble as well. So that's one difference. And consultation is when you are see seeking the professional opinion of a fellow LCSW, licensed clin clinical social worker, or LPC, licensed professional counselor, or the head of the agency that you that you work for. So that is the main, you know, the, the difference. Supervision, you are underneath someone else's license. If anything happens, not only is the board going to send you an email, they're also going to email the supervisor. The supervisor probably will, will find out first any issues, anything that's happened, and then we'll come back to the, um, the supervisee. Uh, but the main difference is the supervisor is like still, you're underneath someone else's license, right? So your supervisor is still responsible for anything that you do. Consultation, you are independently licensed. You can practice on your own. You are not underneath anybody else's license. You have your own independent license. The reason that consultation is so important in an agency that I feel, I feel like consultation is important anywhere, especially in an agency, especially if you're just now starting out to practice independently, is because you may have questions. You know, if, if you're new to doing therapy, you may have questions, or not even just therapy, because you can have um, consultation even amongst your fellow colleagues. Um, even a medical social worker if you're working in a hospital or any setting. Um, but the importance of that is you have other professionals, other people within your realm of scope of practice that can help you, that can guide you. If you're like, hmm, I'm kind of lost, especially if you have a, you know, a supervisor who is, who is you know, over you, probably more experienced, may have dealt with every single thing under the sun and can help you. That is so important. I will say if you are, <clears throat> Excuse me starting off and doing private practice and let's say you're you're working with an agency and they do not have at least weekly bi-weekly consultation meetings or scheduled meetings where you are where the where your colleagues you all can consult with within each other within amongst yourselves or the head of the agency i say that as a huge red flag if there are agency meetings once a month once every twice a month i feel like that's a red flag um one of the trainings that i just took um, the person who's in charge of the, of the agency that does the trainings and actually has multiple agencies, they do weekly consultation, weekly consultation, consultation. Um, and I think that's awesome. And the practice and the agency is so professional, so well ran, very well organized. And I just think that is so important. You need to have consultation. If you are starting out and you are at an agency, like I said, or even, even when I worked in the hospital, we actually had morning meetings. <laughs> we have morning meetings, which can kind of be considered a consultation because we discussed, we discussed um, patients that were in the hospital, any barriers to discharge, any barriers at all. And then we would all kind of all put our own opinion on opinion in on what can be done or what could possibly help the patient discharge or what we could do to help them right so that's also consultation but if you don't have that you're kind of just left to yourself to kind of figure things out and you have no one else that you could talk to of course without you know um telling all the patient's information right i would or the client's information i feel like that's a huge red flag you need to have consultation unfortunately there are a lot of agencies a lot of agencies popping up a lot of private agencies popping up and unfortunately some of them are just trying to you know have an income make money but they're not thinking about the professional well-being and the scope of their employees the clinicians right and I think that's very important I will say for myself um that is kind of where you know one of the agencies I was at I feel like it kind of fell short the consultation piece I think um they had a meeting like once every like quarter and that to me that is that is way too low now for some of you all you may not need consultation once a week or twice a week you may not feel that that is required but i feel like if you're just starting out and you're kind of you're new especially to private practice working for an agency you need to have at least weekly or bi-weekly consultation or the head of the agency needs to have like an open door policy that you can just go hey can i talk to you for a second can i ask you about something you know because like i said other people may have either dealt with that dealt with that you know issue or have a similar client similar situation that can help you brainstorm so 
consultation is very important when you have consultation please you know use it even a supervision during supervision please use that as a time to ask away right try to get as much information try to get as much out of your supervision practice as you can your supervision experience if you are in a supervision situation and i'm gonna make a whole other video on that <laughs> where you feel like you are not getting what you need please try to leave if you can please try to switch if you have to finish out your semester and try to find another practicum another placement then please do so supervision is for you supervision is not and a practicum and a placement is not for other agencies other organizations organizations to build and receive I want to say like free help free work from you and you're not receiving anything back no this is your your you know you're going to school you're in supervision to work within your scope to know you know to have experience before you actually you know graduate you need to be receiving information and receiving what you need as far as, as the skill set as well and if you feel that you are not receiving that please I, I would definitely say reach out to the head of your practicum the head of whoever's in charge and say hey this is you know this is what i need or before you even go to the head let me back up because listen i was in the military so we kind of got to do the um <laughs> the ranking system right maybe you can talk to your um uh, who was ever in charge of your practicum placement whoever is in charge of where you are receiving um your practicum hours at and say hey you know is it possible if i could do this can i do that because some people some you know may not realize like okay yeah sure you want to do biopsychosocial assessments you want to sit in on this you want to do that cool you know fine i have no issue with that or um you know we might have to wait and do that we'll wait until this person can come in there with you or or this population you may have to wait because we need we want someone else more experienced in there with you maybe you can have a conversation with who whoever is in charge um of you receiving your practicum experience you can say hey you know i would like to do this i'd like to do that can i do this can i do that you know and they'll be able to say yes or say no maybe provide you know a reason why um but definitely make sure that you are receiving the best um experience you can from your practicum and like i said in a previous video um make sure that i i would suggest that you find a practicum that you would like to work in you know an area a field that you would like to work in and try to do your field placement there and so you can actually get a real life experience before you actually have to you know work there and sometimes if you do you know have you know you go to that field placement and you're there and you have an internship there they may also offer you employment so but anywho that is pretty much the main you know the the differences between supervision and consultation like i said i feel like consultation is extremely important i feel like consultation is important in every aspect in every profession but especially in social work Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.